Hey guys, so I did a little shopping at Sephora and I thought I would do a little bit of a try on haul and also, uh, well, I didn't buy like a whole full face of makeup. So I thought I would incorporate some other new things that I have. And yeah, so this is just gonna be like a playing with makeup video. Let me just show you what it is that I got at Sephora because I know you guys will be interested in this. I mentioned this in my latest Will I Buy It video and so many of you were like, buy it. Yes, please try it. So I picked up the new YSL New Bare Look Tint. And what shade did I get? I got shade New 6. Well, that seems dark. Okay, well, I went with New 6. I did also get the primer, the Glow and Balm Primer. It sounded really exciting to me. And then I finally picked up something from Lease Beauty. I don't know, L-Y-S or, or Lease. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I got their Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Resilience uh, Translucent. And I'm really excited to try this out. And I also picked up the Patrick Ta uh, major brow lamination gel. I just, I couldn't resist. So we're gonna be playing with that also. Uh, the last thing I picked up is the first thing I wanna try, which is the Erin Cedar Violet perfume. This just caught my eye because I do enjoy Erin perfumes, although I've only ever had testers. I've never had like a full size of anything. And I love cedar and I love violet, but I couldn't imagine the marriage of the two of them. So I just was curious. Let's let's put this on. I love this box. So pretty. And let's see. I did get the smaller bottle. So here is the bottle. Really beautiful top there. Oh. Does it have the notes on here? Let's see. Blah blah blah. Wave on it. With notes of violet leaf, Australian album sandalwood, and Virginia cedarwood. I smell a lot of the sandalwood, which is not always my favorite. I like a little bit of it. I'm just gonna spray a little. Okay, yeah. On my person, <laughs> it smells a lot more fresh. There's a lot more of that violet going on. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little bit more. We can revisit it at the end of the video. See what it's like kind of turned into. That is the Cedar Violet from Erin. I think this is new. I think that's how I came across it. It was in the new section. Oh, some other things that I'm gonna be trying today that I didn't get at Sephora. The new Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. They came out with five new matte colors. They're really, really beautiful. Um, I've done some sponsored work with them uh, with these cream shadow sticks on my Instagram. This, however, is not a sponsored video by them. So I just wanted to mention that also. I'm gonna be trying the new Bare Minerals eyeliners and the new Wayne Goss nude lipsticks. Now I do have a dedicated video to these lipsticks and like swatching all of them and talking about them and the three new lip liners, but I thought I would, I thought I would use them today because the colors are just, mm, they're really pretty. All right, let's start with the YSL Glow in Balm Skincare Makeup Hybrid. Not quite makeup, more than skincare. Okay, for instant glowy skin and 24 hour hydration. Here is the tube. It is 40 mils, 1.35 fluid ounces. It is made in France. All right, I guess I'll try and shake it. I don't think that's helping. Let me just go ahead and, oh, it's got a pointy tip there. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. There it is, let's see how far that goes. And I do have my skincare down. I don't have SPF down. I just didn't put it on. Okay, well that amount was good for like the bottom half of my face. I think I need pretty much like twice as much as I initially squeezed out for my whole face. I do have dry skin, if you're unaware. It definitely feels very, very moisturizing. I mean, I do feel like I'm putting on a moisturizer, like a lightweight moisturizer. It feels slightly cool on the skin, which is nice. My skin, looks decidedly balmy. Doesn't look too shiny. I don't feel like I look greasy. I just have like a nice glow, I guess as how it's described, right? Glow in balm. Now, in terms of a primer, I don't feel like it's particularly like slick, you know, like those smoothing primers. I don't feel that. And I don't feel like it's extra tacky, like it's going to really grip onto my makeup. There's a little bit of tack, but it really, it just really feels like a moisturizer. I think that is probably the, the main purpose of this particular primer is just to give you a glow, make you feel moisturized, um, give you that 24 hour hydration, it claims. 
Uh, so all of this is perfect for me. I have dry um, skin. And so, yeah, I'll take as much hydration as possible. All right, so there is the primer. Um, now let's try the Bare Look Tint. Again, I got the shade New 6. So here is that tube. And this is one fluid ounce, 30 mils, made in France. Let's see, good for 12 months. This was good for 12 months as well. All right, I'm gonna shake this. I hope this has the similar texture to the primer. I like when my foundation is on the creamy side. It has the same pointy applicator, dispenser. And here is this shade. I could have sworn, I'm gonna look this up once I get this off my hands. I'm gonna look up this new six shade because I could have sworn I got this because it was a little cooler but this is like very, very peachy, orangey almost. Let's see what it looks like. The foundation actually has a little bit more of a slip kind of feeling to it versus the primer, which is interesting. So I just applied it to the bottom half of my face. Very light coverage. I'm a big fan of that. I just like a little bit of, a little bit of help, a little bit of evening out. I think that looks nice so far. I'm surprised that this shade doesn't look too warm. Hmm, I usually go for neutrals. So my face is a little bit warmer than like the rest of my body, especially my forehead. My forehead is full on, you know, warm. Uh, but the rest of my body is pretty cool. All right, I just grabbed my phone because I really wanted to see how they described this tint shade that I got. Yeah, light plus with cool undertones. This was pretty warm for cool undertones, but I have to say the picture is actually quite accurate. The picture looks kind of uh, peachy, yellow, orangey, um, but the description is with cool undertones. Interesting. I really think the saving grace is that it really has light coverage, so it's just a really nice light veil. So just keep in mind, I do think these run a little warm on the warmer side. I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit more of this tint and apply it to the rest of my face, because I only did the bottom half of my face. And I don't, I don't know what possessed me, maybe because I put that primer on first, but I usually apply foundation on with a brush, but this is so light that I do think the hands, the fingers work. I really like it. Yeah, I think it has like a light coverage, but it definitely, I feel like evened out my skin tone for sure. Is there SPF in here? There is no SPF in this product, unfortunately, but I think that looks really, really nice on the skin. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do like a full day wear test for you guys, but I will, I'll try to remember to leave a pinned comment uh, down below uh, letting you know how this did wear. It's 11, it's 11 a.m. Uh, I'm getting a late start, which is why I don't feel like I can do a proper full day wear test, but I'll probably end up wearing this for like six hours. So I'll let you know how it goes. But so far, I really like it. I'm really kind of admiring this glow that I have. Really, really lovely. It's um, not shiny, you know, it's not a high shine glow. Do you see that? It's like a satin kind of glow. Pretty. All right, well, let's go ahead and try this Least Beauty Translucent Setting Powder. And I may just put this on one half of my face because I do wanna see how this uh, skin tint wears by itself. So here is the packaging, rose gold. Here is the shade that I got. The name again is Resilience. This may be a little bit light for me, so I am gonna use it with a light hand. All right, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit on my Chikahoto GSN 1 brush and just tap it on. Oh, I think that does a lovely job. It definitely looks a little bit more matte on this side. Obviously, I put some powder down, but I don't feel like it took away that beautiful glow. Like, it's not too mattifying. And I feel like I put a nice layer down. Yeah, it definitely feels a lot less tacky on this side than this side. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna add just a little bit more to the areas that I feel like I get shiny. So my nose down here, but I am just gonna stick to this side of my face. Wow, that is a lovely powder. 
All right. Well, let's see how it wears throughout the day. Again, I'll leave a pinned comment. Um, okay. What do I have? I actually don't have any cheek products to try out. I don't have a bronzer, blush, or highlight. So I did have this sitting out here and yeah, I've just been reaching for this a lot lately. I reached for this a lot. I want to say last year, but I feel like my years are getting mixed up, but this is the Laura Mercier Fresco blush. And I love, love this blush. And it has a little bit of a sheen and has a really neutral tone. So I feel like it works great if you just want to use one product because you can forego highlight. It's got that neutral tone to it. So you can kind of forego bronzer. Anyway, this is what I'm going to use today. And just going to use my Sonia G Cheek Pro Brush. All right, blush applied. Let's move on to the Patrick Ta Brow, what is this called? Lamination Gel. I'm very excited. So it, I got it in the shade clear. I believe that's the only one that is available. And it comes in this really beautiful package. And it had one of those interesting wands where it looks like a, like a golf club. And yeah, pretty much looks clear. It has a little bit of like a milky appearance. I'm sure it dries clear. But I'm gonna go right in with it. I'm really hoping this product is enough. Like I don't need to add a pencil or anything, but it is clear, so we'll see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's kind of turning into like a, like a wax. Hold on, the more I brush into it, I feel like I'm kind of brushing. Oh, I wish you guys could see it. It looks like, like white, kind of like wax. I wonder if that's gonna dry clear. All right, I'm gonna stop touching it because I feel like it was when I went in for a second time that it started to kind of, uh, I guess, clump up is the only way to describe it. Interesting, okay, let's try the other brow. Maybe I'm using too much product, let me wipe this off. Oh no, I see it in this brow too. Yeah, you can see like the waxiness. It's not drying clear or anything. Oh God, it kind of looks like my brows have dandruff. <gasps> yeah, it happened on this side too. Hold on, <laughs> let me go onto the Sephora site. I'm wondering if I'm missing something because this is strange. I feel like Patrick Ta would have made a brow product like perfect because he's, you know, his models always have like that fluffy, uh, fluttery eyebrow look. It got four and a half stars. Brush gel through the brows, being sure to fully coat each hair until product becomes tacky. Press brows into place with the back of the applicator, laminating them into the desired shape. Clean excess gel from skin. Okay, wow, I did not do all of that. With the back of the applicator, so yeah, it's just with no um, teeth on it. I don't know if I waited too long. I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, these are kind of behaving. My brows also have a mind of their own, so. Okay, this brow looks pretty good, I have to say. This one looks really jacked up. I think I maybe went in <laughs> too many times with it, and then and then I tried to pull the, the wax, the, the gel out, and I really kind of made a mess but I still feel like I see flakes there. Like my brows still look very dandruffy. Well, my first impressions of this is not great, but I feel like maybe there's a little bit of a learning curve with this. Like I need to work a lot more quickly. Like just really get the brow in there, use the back and then just like leave them. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying it. I'll let you guys know, but, <laughs> but right now, this is, this is not great. This is not great at all. Let's move on to the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. So this is not a new product for Bobbi Brown. Uh, they just came out with five new shades and they're all matte. So they're just great for like an everyday, simple kind of eye look. And so for, like I mentioned, I had done some uh, sponsored content for them on Instagram with these. This is not a sponsored video. Um, and I use the shades Shore and cinnamon. So I just put Shore, which is a lighter shade, 
I put that all over my lid and then I gave it a little bit of dimension with cinnamon, which is the deepest new shade that they've come out with. So I just want to use something that I think can be like a one or done. So I'm thinking either shell, which this may be too light. You may not see that at all on my lids. Um, my other option was cashew, which has just, I think is just a tinge deeper than my skin tone. So I'm going to just draw it on. I should use a mirror that's closer. So I'm just going to draw some on. Yeah, I think you can see that shade just kind of all over my lid. And then I'm going to use my finger to blend out. Yeah, it just kind of gives me a little bit of depth there. It's just, like I said, it's just like one or two ticks deeper than my natural skin tone. But I like the subtleness of these. And I would definitely work one eye at a time because once these set down, they set down. They don't really budge. So there is cashew all over my lids. I feel like you guys probably can't even see it because my filming light is probably blowing it out. So I am gonna use some of that cinnamon color, which is the deepest uh, new shade and use this to just add a little dimension. So I'm just gonna add some to my lash line here and then a little bit to my outer corner and then just work in with my finger. And these are so easy to blend out. So there is cinnamon. Let me do the same thing to this eye. So there is cashew and cinnamon. Love it. So, so easy to apply. So easy to wear. Okay. Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals came out with um, a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and they also came out with some eyeliners. So I thought I would try their eyeliners today. These are called the Mineralist eyeliners and they've come out with i think about like eight new colors so i just grabbed topaz and copper so copper's on top i think uh, i'm gonna use topaz so there is topaz it's just like a deep chocolatey brown and i'm just gonna apply this to my upper waterline and a little bit to my lower waterline so when i hauled these for you guys i looked up if these were like waterproof or long wear I didn't see that description anywhere. So I think these are just regular eyeliners. They're not gonna be difficult to remove at the end of the day. I don't think that they're waterproof at all. So I do think that they would be great for like smudging out because they're not gonna like totally set down and be like smudge proof. Um, and like I said, I think they'll be really easy to remove at night. All right, well, it did apply very easily. And so far, no smudging. Usually when I tight line, if I blink sometimes, it'll come down and like smudge underneath my lower lash line. But yeah, so far this feels good. And it doesn't feel sticky. You know how some eyeliners will feel sticky? This doesn't feel sticky at all. So that is the Bare Minerals eyeliner. And then, oh, mascara. I don't have new mascara either, but I've been continuing with the Ilia Fullest, Fullest Volumizing Mascara. This is their newest mascara. I've just had it sitting out here because Feel like i wanted to spend some time with it because i love their first one so much i like it i really like this mascara but i think i still like their original one more for me it's um it's like less volumizing it's more like lengthening and separating which i happen to like but if you like volumizing this is a really lovely one it hasn't smudged or flaked or cracked or done anything weird it's a really really great formula so just going to curl my lashes and I should also mention, I've been using the Refer Eyelash Curler, and it is fantastic. It is so, so good. And finally, lips. So, uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to be using one of the new Wayne Goss Nude Lipsticks, but I will have a dedicated video where I'm swatching all eight new shades, all three new lip liners. That video is coming out on Tuesday, when the launches, when the launch goes live. So um, let me use, I think so far, because I haven't had them that long, but let me go ahead and use my favorite, which is Pecan. And Pecan is pretty much one of the shades that's like right in the middle. And I like using the like middle toned lip liner with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And here is Pecan. 
just such a great mid-tone, fairly neutral nude. Isn't that such a good nude color? Oh my God, I love it. I love it. It's like perfect everyday color. Oh, I almost forgot. The Erin Cedar Violet. I feel like the violet leaf is pretty much gone. I'm pretty much just left with the cedar and the sandalwood. It's mostly cedar though, which I'm happy about. I feel like when I just sprayed it into the air, when I smelled it in the bottle, it really smelled very heavily of sandalwood. But once I sprayed it onto my skin, I really could smell the violet. It really smelled, you know, a little light and fresh at the beginning. And now it has definitely settled to that cedar. Ooh, this is gonna be great in the fall. All right, well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I will leave a pinned comment letting you know how everything wore. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.